Hey guys, Taz McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back. Today I'm coming at you with a video on, da 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 da, you know it, it is on the shipping increase for Poshmark Canada. I know it happens, whatever, it's out of our control, but let's go over this. So there's gonna be three parts to the video. I'm gonna explain the new fee structure, how it's gonna affect you when you're offering discounts. I'm then gonna give you a few examples, and then we're gonna go over some strategies at the end of the video, try and help you out. If you think for some reason this is gonna end your business and that this is the worst thing they can ever do, my video may not be for you, I'll be honest. If you're here because you are a boss babe or just a boss posh mark business and you want to make money and you're ready to strategize and move on, let's do this because listen, for growth, you have to pivot, right? So when something comes at you, you got to pivot. You got to get ready to make the next move. Okay. Starting May 6th, Poshmark increased their shipping rate to $13.49. This is a 50 cents increase for us, but hey, you know what? We live in Canada. We know what shipping costs are and they're like crazy expensive. The first tier of flat rate shipping box through Canada Post is $16.99 and that is Canada wide obviously if you're shipping within your region you can get deals things like that but listen you got to go on a Canada post you got to enter in all that information and that just is like a whole hassle to me the reason why Poshmark is my bay and my main jam is because it's so simple and easy. They take all that work out. I will pay 50 cents every single time for just having to print a shipping label. Let's get into this. I'm going to kind of read the announcement, give you guys the details if you missed the notice. The announcement that came out through Poshmark Canada highlighted new shipping rate. Earlier this year, Canada Post announced an increase in their shipping rates, and in order to adapt to this change, we have made an adjustment to our shipping fee. Effective tomorrow, May 6, 2021, Poshmark flat rate shipping will now be $13.49. Our simple and unique system allows items up to 2.5 kilograms to be shipped at a flat rate with one to seven days expedited shipping. Okay, we all know it doesn't always happen in that time frame, but I think Canada Post's intentions are there. We always strive to negotiate the best rate and are committed to continue to deliver a seamless, fast, and competitive experience to the Poshmark community. 100%, I agree with this. You know what? We do sell on various platforms, and one thing I found on other platforms is sometimes to be competitive, I actually have to eat shipping costs on there as well. Unfortunately, I'm not just eating the shipping cost of $13.49. Most of the time, I'm eating part of a shipping cost that's like $16.99, $20, $20, things like that. That. This is pretty minimal. I do understand that this is going to have an impact on businesses and that, you know, like I, I kind of put it out there that if you sell 20 items a week, this is going to impact your business by $10. Now, I understand for some people this is a large amount of money, but if you're here because you're trying to build a side hustle and you want to make more money and you want to grow and scale your business, $10 in the scheme of your whole week or your sourcing, you can make that up in other areas. Like I said, we're going to go over strategies later. Okay, so let's break this down. If a purchaser pays full price for shipping, they're going to pay $13.49. Now, we have some different shipping options. We can give discounts at $9.99, $6.99, and free shipping. If you give $9.99 shipping rate, unfortunately Poshmark did not change the cost. I mean, the difference between their new shipping cost and the discount we're giving the buyer does come to us. But like I said, I'm okay with it. I eat more shipping costs on other platforms than Poshmark. So with the $9.99 shipping, you're gonna pay $3.50 instead of the $3 that you were paying previously. If you offer $6.99 shipping, you're gonna pay $6.50. I actually don't use that option very often. I only use the $9.99 shipping. And then if you offer free shipping, you're gonna pay the full cost of $13.49. It's pretty simple, that's how it breaks down. So we're gonna go over an example, if you sell an item for $30 on Poshmark. Posh is going to take the 20% right off the profit, which is $6. Also any applicable taxes because none of us are getting away from the tax man on this. Then you'll minus any discount shipping from your profit, right? Not worry about the tax part for right now, but say you sold the item for $30. Posh takes their $6. That puts you at $24. If you offer the $9.99 shipping, they're also going to take another $3.50, right? Makes sense. It's pretty simple. Again, that is going to eat into profits, but 
it is what it is. We can't change it, guys. We can only try and move on from this and grow our businesses still, okay? So I have read comments that this is gonna have a huge impact on small items, things like that. You know what, our American friends went through this, I feel like a couple months ago. I've read so many comments that people said it did not impact their sales. Costs are going up everywhere nationwide, Canada-wide, worldwide, everywhere, right? People are just prepared for this. And the good news is anyone coming new to the app isn't gonna know that the shipping rate used to be $12.99 right? Now, the other thing is, are you sending out offers to likes? Do you send out, you know, once a week offers to likes or give people 20% off and shipping discount? Guess what? You're already accepting that you're going to eat some of that shipping cost. So don't worry about it. Like I said, it's 50 cents more. I know it's a pain in the butt. Here's where we can strategize and try and get better at it. Let's go through these. My first first automatic instinct that if you feel that this is going to have a huge impact on your business is just increase the price of the items. What if you increase the price of your items by one or two dollars? Really that makes up the 50 cents right away. The other thing is you can choose when to send out offers to likes and give people shipping discounts. You don't have to give them a shipping discount. You don't have to pay that additional 50 cents. That is your choice. I personally feel like it's a benefit to give shipping discounts and this is why we do this on multiple platforms because people want to deal. Right now we live in a world where people are getting free shipping from Amazon and the reality is most people that are shopping on Poshmark either number one want to support sustainable secondhand fashion or they're looking for a deal so they're probably already getting a deal on the item that they were specifically looking for or they're supporting sustainable fashion because they're here to get cool secondhand clothing right and I mean some of us sell new with tags items things like that it's up to you you can do what you want you don't have to give out the discounted shipping and uh, next one is why don't you look at how you're sourcing maybe some of your sourcing strategies you're being a little bit wasteful right so tighten up on your sourcing maybe you're looking for those items that are fitting that budget i mean we all have different business models so it depends how what works for you may not work for me i think sometimes that this might have a bigger impact on the people who aren't actually resellers the people who are just selling you know their clothing for like five or ten dollars obviously i think that shipping increase may have a small impact on them but for most of us we're in this to make money right so we're sourcing brands and items and trends and styles that we think are going to sell and that we're going to be able to make some money on i also like to say encourage bundles if you have low cost items and you're concerned that these these items aren't going to sell because the shipping costs have gone up. Why don't you encourage more bundle sales? I always encourage bundles. I'm going to pop up a video right here. I talk all about bundles and why I think they're a benefit to everyone's business. I encourage you to watch that video. It may help you and give you some ideas. At the end of the day, I choose to sell on Poshmark because it is a simple, easy platform. There's nothing difficult about it. I just have to post it, do up my descriptions, you know what I mean, take good pictures, whatever, and share my items. And then items sell, and I literally just have to print a label and stick it on the package. We do sell on other platforms, and it's a little bit more complicated. I have to log into Canada Post every time, enter in all their information, choose what kind of shipping option I want, then print the label and go ahead. To me, if I could pay 50 cents, even a dollar an item on some of the other platforms for them to manage my shipping, I would pay it every single day on every single sale. Because to me, shipping is a pain in the butt. We live here in Saskatchewan. We don't have courier services. There's no like discounted shipping like pirate ship. I think Ontario and Alberta have the discounted shipping couriers. We don't have that here. So it's just, yeah, it's a nuisance. One of the important things to remember is Poshmark has no control over Canada Post and what they are charging for shipping. I mean, this is part of the business. This is part of us being resellers. These are things that we have to pre be prepared for. Let's move on. We are all here because we want to run a business. We want to make some money. Maybe we're doing it as a side hustle or you're doing it part time, whatever. We're all here because we want to grow a business. No fret. If you have any questions or comments, anything you want to add, drop them down in the comment section. I'd love to hear. I only want to hear healthy discussion. There's no, no time for negativity or bad energy down in those comments. I would love to hear what you think and maybe what's your strategy or ideas. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. This is the deets. This is what you need to know. It's not the end of the world. It's 50 cents. We are going to get through this because we are boss babes. And if you like my content, 
give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe, tap the little bell, you'll get all the notifications. And thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. This is awesome. I'm just enjoying this YouTube journey and it's so much fun to connect with each of you guys. And thanks for following. Okay, I'm out. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.